This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Next hey guys. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and today's video is a bit of a different one. I am showing you easy switches you can make to your home decor to make your house the most beautiful ever. Over my years, you know, in the world of home decor, I have discovered so many products that I just turn to time and time again. Those finishing touches, styling accessories that really make a space feel beautiful and stylish. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We have have so many more makeovers, so many more informative videos like this coming at you. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. Oh, oh, Lottie has come to the studio today because we have a really fun shoot happening, right? Say hi to the viewers. Like and subscribe. Okay, so we are starting in the kitchen. My first item is uh, cleaning cloths. You're probably used to using these like standard blue dish cloths. I was using these for so long, but I found that they smelled so bad so easily and I was constantly just throwing them out and buying new ones. Not super sustainable, not super stylish. Now, the only cloths I use are these Swedish cloths. There's so many places you can get them from. My favorites are Ten & Co and Halley Halley Designs. They have the most beautiful patterns and these cloths are rigid when they are dry and they soften when you put them under water. The best part about these cloths is that you can wash them in the washing machine up to 200 times. So they're gonna last you about six to 12 months. And then when you're done, you just toss them in the compost bin and that's it. Super sustainable, but also really, really beautiful. Aside from these Swedish dish cloths, I've also been using these anthropology ones because they have pom-poms on them. I just have to throw these in because they're just so fun and just look so good at my counter. Dish racks one of the most common household items people have. And I feel like a lot of people, their go-to is to get like a plastic one with that tray underneath, or you have to put a tea towel down. All I knew for a while until I found this insanely beautiful rainbow shaped dish mat. I'm obsessed. So this is sold in two parts. There's the rubber base and then you get this gold metal rack. Now, this is not ideal if you have like, you know, a family of four and you don't have a dishwasher. You wanna just keep smaller items like mugs and small plates and cutlery on this. The rubber base has a bit of a lip to it, so it catches the water and then once your dishes are drained, you just dump the water out in the sink. Super cute, we have one in the studio and I have one at home and I love it. It just brings me so much joy. Pet bowls. <laughs> I feel like, again, one of those things that people don't really think about going the extra mile for because they're just pet bowls. But honestly, guys, there are some beautiful pet bowls on the market. A lot of small businesses make them by hand, which I think is just so great. I recently bought these pet bowls. I'm popping a photo of them up here because I haven't received them yet. They're just stunning. And I feel like it's that thing you have out all the time if you have pets, right? Like you never put pet bowls away. So why not just make them a little more beautiful? Also, I have a hot tip for you. Put a serving tray underneath your pet bowls. I got this one from H&M Home. It's wood and not only is it functional, so it catches her food when she's eating, but it also also just looks really beautiful too. The next item is step ladders. Chico actually recently phoned me and he was like, hey, do you know where I can find a cute step ladder for my kitchen? And I'm like, Chico, I got you, don't worry. I feel like step ladders are one of those things that always looks super clunky. Either they're metal or they're just like bulky and take up too much space. This one, my friends, we bought for the studio. It is mint green. It is the most beautiful step ladder I've ever found. Also works so well in my kitchen when I need to reach like high up on those open shelves. It also comes in a million different colors. Again, I will link it down below. I'm obsessed. Olive oil. I feel like olive oil is one of those things you always have out. 
and this is more of like a nice to have item. This olive oil is made by Pineapple Collaborative and these were just too good not to add in here. They come in this beautiful pink and yellow color. They are a completely female owned small business such a nice gift. Also really beautiful to style if you have open shelving. These are expensive, so what I would suggest is once you use up the olive oil in them, just keep refilling it with other olive oil. So your olive oil is always gonna look pretty. The next item is garbage cans. I feel like you probably don't know that there are really beautiful garbage cans you can find. What? It's like 9 a.m. I'm talking about garbage cans, you know? <laughs> Day in life. My favorite company is called Brabantia. It's a European company, but they are sold on Amazon. They come in the most beautiful colors and they're metal. They also have a lifetime warranty, I think, so they're really, really good quality. But it's the colors that just get me. Greens, pinks, I think they even have a gold one. Like, they're just beautiful. And I feel like when you live in a small space, there's nothing more frustrating than having a small garbage can under your sink that is like constantly overflowing. So this one is nice enough that you can just leave out all the time. Colander. I've been struggling to find a good colander because I feel like they're either plastic and they warp or they're painted, like the metal comes painted and it chips everywhere. Or you have ones with like wooden handles that just disintegrate in the sink. So my tip is to opt for one that is ceramic. They last longer, they're dishwasher safe, and like this little cutie, I can put it up on my open shelf and leave it on display. Obviously, this colander is not big enough if I'm making like a meal, but I would love to know your suggestions for colanders, like large colanders if you're making pasta or like a big meal. Let me know in the comments down below what brand you like to use. Next up, we're talking trivets. A lot of people gravitate towards the cork option. They're inexpensive, but they're not the cutest. Instead, opt for something that doubles as shelf decor or countertop decor, like this beautiful pink rainbow trivet. Now we're entering the like miscellaneous section. <laughs> and I'm starting this section out with a garden hose. And I'm laughing because you're probably like, sorry, <laughs> sorry, what? Would you believe me if I told you that you could get a beautiful pink garden hose? It is entirely possible and I have one. So even though I don't have a hose hookup on my balcony, in my rental, I'm keeping this because one day I will have a house and I will keep this beautiful pink garden hose out on display. This is from Garden Glory, another awesome small company. She sells all sorts of things, garden hose accessories, patterned attachments, and she also sells hooks that you can hang them on. If there's ever a beautiful alternative, this is probably it. The next item is wall hooks. I feel like people kind of just throw up any cheap and cheerful wall hook they can find, but it's a missed opportunity because wall hooks can look really beautiful, especially if you put them in a cluster. I found this wall hook on Hay Designs. It's a squiggle. I use it to hang dish towels off of, oven mitts. It's functional, but also really, really beautiful. The next item is a splurge, but I wanted to add it in here because I feel like a lot of people don't really know that it exists, but I also get a lot of questions about it when I post about it. So I wanted to share it with you. So this is the frame TV. Now, because I'm constantly shooting my home, I was finding that when I shot beauty shots, you would just see this like massive black blob in the center of my room. So for me, because I work in this industry and home decor, this was really an investment piece but the beauty of it is that it actually just looks like a piece of art. You can get different frames that snap onto the sides to change like the frame color. And then you can actually change the photos within the frame TV. So you can pick like a painting, a photography piece, you can download prints from Etsy, and this is definitely a splurge item, but if you care deeply for home decor like I do, then it might be worth it for you. The next item is bedside lights. So wall sconces are super beautiful, but if you live in a rental, you might not be able to hang anything on the walls. 
I love these because if you don't have space for a bedside table even, these are great because they are super small. They're also dimmable, so when you flip them over, they start going on a timer and they dim within 45 minutes to an hour. And you can also wake up to them too. So you can set it on a timer, they wake up. It's like a natural way to wake up without an alarm. I really love these and they're just super cute and cozy and have a small footprint. Okay, guaranteed you haven't thought about switching up this item in your bathroom before, but yes, we are talking about toilet brushes. Again, something I didn't know you could find a super cute version of until I started doing bathroom makeovers. I feel like especially if you live in a small space, just a simple switch like this could really have a big impact. This one is from CB2, it's matte black, but I have seen tons of cute toilet brush holders at HomeSense. Bonus tip, if you live in a small space, put your toilet paper in baskets. It keeps it all corralled in one place. And if you don't have space for a toilet roll holder, I have weirdly in my bathroom nowhere to hang a toilet roll holder. A basket is the perfect solution. Another tiny change that, again, could have such a big impact in your space are shower curtain clips. I always thought that the go-to was just like plastic ones, but no, there are some really beautiful gold ones, metal ones. These ones I have are from Bad Bath & Beyond, I think. Cheap and cheerful, but they're matte black and they just look way better. I've seen really cute ones at Target, H&M Home, even on Etsy, you can find some really cute shower curtain clips. It really depends on the budget you have to spend, but you can get super cute ones for a really great price. The next product I have to actually start switching during my makeovers, but it's an alternative to your simple cup hook, your ceiling hook. So whenever you're hanging a plant pot or swagging a light, you can use this alternative. It comes in black, silver, gold, and it just looks like much more intentional than your simple cup hook. It's like an elevated ceiling hook. The last product I don't have with me but I'm gonna show a photo of it. It's kind of ridiculous, but I thought we're doing a beautiful alternatives video and I can't not include it. When I found out that there was a company that makes like luxury fire extinguishers, I was like, this cannot be true. Gold ones, patterned ones. It's like the Smeg fridges of the fire extinguisher world, like literally. They're so fun and cool. This could be just like a fun little switch up. So once you have all of your beautiful alternatives and you're ready to get your space feeling styled and beautiful, I would highly recommend checking out Skillshare for Emily Henderson's course. It's called Style Your Space Creative Tips and Techniques for Interior Design, and it's one of my absolute favorite courses on Skillshare because it's such a great resource taught by one of the best in the industry. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of courses available, whether you wanna learn how to create a write, photograph, graphic design, anything you can think of, Skillshare probably has a class on it. Skillshare is constantly uploading fresh new content for members. Everything is broken down into bite-sized pieces and it really is learn at your own pace. You also don't have to worry about ads disrupting your learning experience, which is always a plus. If this sounds like something you'd be interested in, make sure you check out the link in my description box. So the first 1,000 of you to click the link down below gets one free month of Skillshare and you can start exploring your creativity today. There you guys have it. I hope you learned something new. I would love to know in the comments down below which of these products is your favorite, which one you would consider making the switch to. I would also love to know if you have a beautiful alternative that you swear by. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Make sure you click the link in the description box for the special Skillshare offer. As always, I will see you guys next time. Bye.